Okay, adventurers, after the first part, we will take you now to the second day of our travels. And uh, it will be nature again in the morning, uh, finishing up with uh, the capital of the region, České Budějovice. Hope you enjoy. I'm really excited about this one. All right, guys, so after our first eventful trip uh, in Český Krumlov, we uh, went uh, deadly tired to Holubov by train. And then we took our car and uh, went just those uh, 47 kilometers uh, somewhere in the middle of nowhere so we could uh, get ready for uh, the hike. Guys, it, it tells you 51 minutes, but this is the least uh, populated uh, region in all of the Czech Republic. And this uh, route is just... Uh, so narrow and winding 51 minutes no way it took us over an hour and 20 minutes to get over somewhere around here and you need to be careful there is so many animals uh, in the forest so uh, you need to watch out for uh, hitting a deer or rabbit we lost our way two times so you can imagine how we felt uh, we were completely naked Well, good morning, guys. Uh, this is Yenda again, uh, second day of our travels. Uh, we just camped out with uh, Nati uh, here under, in the middle of the fields. Um, the aim for today is at the back over there. Uh, that mountain is called Bobin. It's one of the highest uh, in Shumava uh, mountain range. And it's also a prehistoric forest over there, over 200 years old, untouched. So, uh, just take a look. Uh, near here, there, uh, there is also a town called Prachatice that will be on the plan next. And also there are a couple of castles and uh, UNESCO heritage sites, so we're gonna check that out as well for you today. Stay tuned! Come with me and take a look, guys. Uh, there is a fort from the 14th century, Fort uh, Drslavice. Uh, it's uh, just close to Bobin. And it's starting to rain. Boy, oh boy, it's gonna be an interesting hike. Just a quick entry before the ascent uh, itself. Uh, here we are uh, at the base camp of um, Bowin uh, Mountain. Here we have our uh, first supper. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> yeah, uh, so yeah, uh, it should take about uh, four hours to get to the top. So keep, our, uh, keep your fingers crossed. Yeah, we made it um, down here by a bit of a detour um, to the um, ancient forest. We will not actually climb the mountain first, but we will go to this uh, um, protected area first. And why is this area protected? Is uh, simply because uh, of the fact that over 200 years uh, uh, they let down the trees fall here and rot away so um, the animals and the insects will find their natural habitat in here. I know in America so you have large national parks like that but here it's quite unique in the Central Europe. It's a protected area, no one can do anything in there. So just uh, take a look. it to the aforementioned lake um, yes as you can see there has been a calamity of uh, the uh, bug the wood eating bug and um, also strong winds so there you can see the disaster at the other end the 
the spruce king of the forest uh, it uh, lived up to um, 350 years if i'm not mistaken just, just let's take a look here uh, yep yeah 350 years uh, before it um, got eaten by the bug i believe amongst the forest over there uh, we will have uh, more of them as well just they are not visible to our eyes so um, we need to wait another 200 years just a uh, one slight correction uh, from far off it looked like a kiosk where you can buy stuff but no no you can uh, uh, get a bit more uh, information on uh, interesting bugs and insects uh, and flowers uh, flora fauna that lives here what lives here what grows here yeah, silly me, I'm just uh, obsessed by food, I guess. So uh, I would uh, give anything for a pint of beer, but no. Yep, up we go. We made it to the uh, first uh, resting place for lunch. It's so-called uh, Hunter's Castle. Well, whatever. There is also a steady stream of water where you can refill your supplies there's perfect place to have a campfire and if you're a religious person you can even uh, go and uh, confess in the chapel over there last but not least is the view just gorgeous Alright guys, the moment is here and yeah, this path uh, takes us to the top, so uh, come on and follow me. And there it is, one of the tallest mountains in uh, Shumava, with this beauty going all the way to the top, which you can climb. So it's perfect uh, spot to observe uh, the surroundings and the landscape. Mission successful. my dears uh, after nearly a 20 kilometer hike we are back where we started anyhow wonderful walk definitely recommend uh, to come you to come here as um, it has plenty to offer um, the Asian forest uh, nice lake uh, wonderful views from the top you can see all the landscape even the Austria if there's a clear visibility you can even uh, look all the way to the Alps, so that would be pretty cool. Unfortunately, a bit of uh, hail today and uh, a bit of rain, but um, all in all, it was it was good fun. Now, um, just a little treat for you. 
less uh, than uh, 20 minutes uh, by car from uh, Bobin, uh, the mountain, and Shumava, uh, there is uh, this uh, lovely little town of Prachatice. Similar to Chesky Krumlov, it's a um, jewel of Renaissance when uh, the local uh, aristocrat family, uh, they got inspiration from Italy. Uh, so as you can see, plenty of Renaissance influences. There are also uh, little arcades. Basically all those uh, famous Renaissance towns, they span from uh, south uh, west uh, Bohemia all the way until the western uh, Moravia uh, southwestern Moravia um, there's plenty of them and uh, such uh, little towns you can find more of them in this region definitely oh, it's a really wonderful treat to discover such a small gems in here also, here are very preserved, uh, very well preserved uh, town walls, uh, which we will show you later. Look at this uh, beautifully preserved past. Hello again guys, uh, welcome to the sunlit um, Czeska Budjovice, where the real Budweiser is from. Just take a look at this beauty. Perfectly square, um, square. Uh, of uh, or a city center of uh, Przemysl Otakar II. This will be end of our trip uh, here from uh, the Vltava river. It's exactly the same uh, Vltava river we followed in the Chesky Krumlov. Then it goes to České Budějovice and gets past Prague and uh, gets into uh, Elbe river or Labe river near um, Mělník. Actually Elbe is shorter when it when the two rivers meet. So yeah, Vltava technically is the most important one uh, but yeah uh, Germans just uh, gave it name M Elbe shame anywho guys I got carried away a bit hope you enjoyed uh, the show and yeah stay cool stay tuned and guys out okay guys do you remember me uh, telling you about the Vltava river in Budjovice well I was messing up with you, of course, uh, as you have noticed already. This is the real Vltava river. The other one is Malše, and actually the city is lying at the confluence of them both.